from the live streaming capital of the world, Valente, Texas. This is Purple BTV. Oh, baby. It's that time of the week again. It's Thursday. So, you know, it's time for us to bring you some of that gravy good music. That's what we're doing here at Purple B. And we have none other than the legendary Balthus tonight for Purple B Live 105. Oh, yeah, baby. That is what I am talking about. This is going to be something very, very special. Um, I'll tell you what. These guys, I saw them at South by Southwest a few years ago. They are nothing but amazing. A trio, more so of a phenom than anything. But without further ado, he's been called the Baron of Backwoods Bay, the Pierogi Patriot, and also, <laughs> now G's back in the studio, look at that. And the underground rap community, he's also known as Skinny G, but ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> none other than Grego Lobos. Oh, Lord. Thank you all, my best friends over there in control room, Tyler and Ebos and Debos, the ultimate crew. Welcome, y'all. Thanks for watching Purple Beat TV. Amazing night, amazing band from uh, out of here, from out of here, somewhere out. From the top, <laughs> for Bogota, E. Yeah, Bogota, Colombia is where they are hailing from tonight. And they are a Colombian psychedelic funk trio, Fina, if you will. And uh, recently they have, um, recently they have uh, come out with a new album and they are actually planning on debuting an album I mean, not an album, sorry, a single here tomorrow. And if you're lucky and you stick around, you actually may get a little bit preview of that. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Purple Bee Live 105, Balt the S. Right on. We're just gonna do a little test note, see everything's groovy, and then we're gonna start to uh
All right, what's up, Melinda, Texas? How you guys all doing tonight? Hello, good night. We're so happy to be here again. Yeah, thanks. Thanks all for coming. I mean, the live stream audience, and there's also, you don't see it, but there's a live audience here. We're all, we're all wearing headphones. Looks really, really nice. They're all lighting up in red and stuff, so it's cool to have. Thank you for having us.
Right on, right on. Yes. Man, don't be fooled by this shirt. I've never surfed a day in my life, but you guys just like made me, you just took me to like some coastline, drive with my surfboard on top of my car. Like that was just so wavy and just so groovy and so crisp at the same time. Your sound is so unique. I mean, shoot. What, I, I, I know you guys, this is, um, this is your, I believe it is the, the third vib vibration tour that you're on right now? Third vibration tour, third tour. I got a little reverb, but yeah. And I, I like it, it sounds dope. I wish that you did that to my voice more. But honestly, uh, and you just released that album in September. I mean, tell me a little bit about that and kind of uh, your journey over these uh, this past couple of tours. Well, it's our fourth tour here in the US. I'm so happy to be here. We always come to Texas for some reason. Home away from home, right? And we met you guys last year at South By. And so happy, it's so dope to be here again at Purple Beast Studios because you guys revamped the whole thing. This is a beautiful place. I mean, we're so happy to have you. And, you know, it's that uh, South by Southwest uh, hospitality that we love to provide, and you guys provide the groove. So happy to hear what you guys have for us. <laughs> Baltus, Purple B Live. Let's do it. <laughs>
Thank you so much, people be. <laughs> yes, thank you. Man, that, that song, it like told a whole story within it too. No words even needed. It's, it's really amazing. And I, if I haven't mentioned by now, obviously we are taking donations. 100% of donations do go to the artists and crew. Thank you so much, Harry and Eric, so far. We're at $35. Now keep in mind, if you know Purple B, with a $50 or more donation, you will receive a very valuable Polish Plinko, one of few. And we will drop it, and we have some really cool choices here. And, you know, we're going to be jamming a little bit. There might be um, some songs with a little bit of a twist. There might be a cover song. There might be some tickets to Purple B, Sonic Guild. You never know. So maybe take your chances, but we guarantee you'll always win. And, you know, talking about not only your sound and just your jamming, obviously, I mean, that was a beautiful kind of ballad you had there. How did you guys come together and, and kind of find each other as far as artists and playing together? I mean, when did you kind of realize that you're like, this is the three? This is the team. Um, maybe Santi, you want to take want to take this one? Yeah. So I used to play with Balthazar. We met like gigging, you know, like back in 2018, and uh, we saw each other like a uh, concert hall. We we were like kind of in love with each other. It was like I was like, damn, this band is so good. And he was like, that drummer is good. I need him. And we just got together. We started to play together. It was like two years, right? And then it was like, uh, well, the band ends. And then in the pandemic, we started to play together again with Joanna. We met Joanna in that band. Like, she used to play um, charango. That's a, a kind of tiny guitar uh, from the Andean mountains. and. And well, uh, we started to make music in the pandemic. Like when everybody was in in the home, in their homes, we were playing. You know, like pretty much it. Yeah, plenty, it. plenty of time to jam. Yeah, no for sure, man. <laughs> I mean, and it's it's amazing. I mean, obviously, what you guys have created so far is absolutely incredible. Oh, look at that! We have actually, in the midst of our conversation, have received two fifty dollar donations. Damn. One from Kate Fuego. And then, um, oh, yeah, one, psh, whoa, OZ just dropping 250. Damn. Damn. It was payday for somebody out there. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Um, wow, that is incredible. So we'll definitely get the Plinko board fired up. Yeah. No doubt about that. And so we can get some more great music and uh, maybe win some awesome prizes here. But it is really incredible as far as what you guys have done as musicians and come together for this trio. Like we said, trio is always, they, they come to Purple B and they fill the space out so well. So without any further ado, let's get that first Plinko of the night rolling. What do you say, Santiago? You want to give me a little drum roll? Oh, yeah, please. There you go. Jingle for you. Kate Fuego was our first $50 donator, so we are going to do a little bit j uh, jingle for Kate Fuego. Just a little background. She actually is a fire dancer, and you see her a lot of times in our Purple Bee streams. So uh, keep that in mind, you know, if you got something fuego in the uh, in the in the tank. A jingle, you caught you caught us off guard here. I know this one though. You might know that one, but not so fire, but <laughs> amazing, amazing. Well, I'll tell you what. While we reload the pr the Plinko board up, why don't you uh, why don't you play us a little bit of what you got lined up for us? I'm, I'm curious to see what you guys uh, are here to showcase us tonight, and then we will get to a couple of our other Plinko drops. What do you say? Totally, this one's good for fire dancing. Perfect, let's do it.
not only so amazing that we get to bring this to the you know to the globe through amazing stream with video and audio like we do but to the live people in the live audience thank you so much for being here and thank yeah, you so thank much you. for experiencing this it's a long way i know thanks for coming it's a windy road and i know how texan drivers get when uh, when it rains you know they don't know what to do they don't got that four-wheel drive like the rest of the the midwest got to deal with but and and man I, these, there's so many people in the chat just giving you guys so much praise right now that it's hard for me to keep up, yeah, especially we're, we're <laughs> when most of it's in a different language. I'm going to have to count on you to translate some of those. I, I believe I did take a picture of, 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 of one of the, per, of the people earlier, but I'm definitely not going to torture everybody by trying to pronounce the whole thing, but it was Lucy Reyes, if you know who that is. But they're tuning in, and they're um, you know, bringing some, uh, some uh, you know, different types of uh, language to the chat. It's pretty sweet. It's so cool to be able to see that... Uh, Globally, where uh, music is a uh, you know universal language, ain't they right? Abstract. Yeah. And uh, Oz, he donated that big 250 spot, and uh, we're gonna drop a plinko for them. So what do you uh, what do you say we do that? Hopefully it's not a jingle. <laughs> no, don't worry. The jingle's been used up. We've got some new ones on there, and it's gonna be quite the thrill. Let me get that drum roll, Santiago. Oh, uh, the long-awaited cover song. Cover song. All right. <laughs> so we come from Bogota. It's like, I think it's a city in the mountains. It's cold, actually. It's really temperate. But we surf over there. And this is how we do it. <laughs>
Yeah. Right on. I think we could all agree that's cold classic. That's a great cover. Only, only, only done so well by you guys. Much appreciated. That one was for Oz. I said OZ earlier because that's just me being, you know, the mi usual mispronunciation guy. Um, and we actually do have, you know, two more uh, uh, Plinkos. I, I mean, what do you say? We, we get one more in, and then are you guys feeling good? You, are you want to keep uh, this first set rolling, or how, how are we feeling out there? Give me the temperature in the room. How are we feeling? Oh, the, the, the room is right. The, it's the Polish springs that are a little terrifying, but we'll do it, <laughs> you know? <laughs> hey, no, you guys have handled the challenge exceptionally well. It's gone amazing, and obviously it's going well because people are just dying to see it. They're just giving us all their money. I love it. You know, we'll take it because it goes to making more great music like this. So this one is actually going to be for uh, uh, Shrimp Guilds, right? Very own DJ Synapse and BB. Love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning into the stream. I'm so happy to see so many people. It was a $50 donation. I'm so happy to see that we have so many people tuning in tonight. The chat, I literally can't even keep up with most of it. Santiago, hit me with that. That Polish drum roll. Sonic Guild live. I knew it was gonna. I knew it was gonna land on that one. He's in Cleveland. I'll tell you what. We're gonna make a roll again. We're gonna make it even more nerve-wracking for you guys. Cause this is so. This is. It, this could potentially be the last song of the first set. So you know we gotta keep it. Uh, keep it challenging for you. Ooh. Just what we wanted to see. Side of jam. So this is going to be one of your songs where, you know, you guys might space out a little bit. You might jam a little bit extra than you need to. And you might make that song a little bit spacey. You know what I'm talking about? Picking up what I'm putting down out there. Are you sure? Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. You might know this one. We always use this one to jam. So if there are any heady people out there, this one's for you.
Wow, man. You were talking about how challenging the Polish Plinko is, yet your inclination was correct. I mean, there's a lot of heady people here at Purple B. Uh, DJ Synapse and BB, actually, the people who donated that $50 tip for that one, are huge Deadhead fans, and they were going crazy in the chat, talking about how that's an absolute favorite of theirs. So right on. Right you, you, you nailed Thank it. You. you nailed it. And what do you, I mean, what do you say? Are, are you, got, you think we, uh, we take a little short hydration break here and then uh, rock out for a second set? How are we feeling out there? We're, we're going to let them get into the huddle. Got my sparkling water. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That was a surprise, but you come here and you see, oh, these are my people. That's our jams right there. I know you got one more in you. Sure. We're going to get groovy as a, as a closer. This one's called Cosmic Boogie.
ending the first set on an absolute bang. Grego over here making it sound nice, and Balthus making it sound absolutely amazing here at Purple B. <laughs> if you didn't know how it worked out here, man, thought you knew. We got two sets, so if you're in the crowd tonight enjoying yourself, if you're at home, grab yourself a refreshment on the patio or on your fridge, wherever you're at, wherever you're tuning in from. Casey Byers jamming in NYC. We love you. Ali Garcia sending mad love. And we appreciate to everyone who's donated so far. So make sure you keep it going. We got Dave still for the $50 Plinko. So we'll start the second set off strong. We're gonna rewrite the playbook here though, me and the band, and we're gonna we're gonna come up with some uh, some good uh, good Plinkos for you guys. So keep donating donating and uh, in the meantime enjoy some music from our very own abstract AMCR.
he's over here sampling songs yes. that we were hearing in the first set. How amazing is that? This man is absolutely unremarkably talented. What he continues to do here at PB is absolutely groundbreaking. We love it. We love it. Uh. We've kept you waiting long enough, streamers, extraterrestrials, whoever's picking up this signal right now. And don't worry, Dave. I ain't forget about you, bro. Uh -huh, Dave. I ain't forget about you, Dave. We love you, man. Thank you, Abstract MCR. You're the yeah. man. Yeah. It's beautiful. You are the man, bro. Uh -huh. you're, yes. you're a savage, dude. Absolutely amazing. True OG in the truest sense of the word. Wow. Dave, you have a very special, special Plinko drop because your option, one of them is unreleased song. The song that will be coming out tomorrow, this single that will be debuted, previewed, I should say, for the debut here on Purple BTV. What a special chance. In the midst of that break, we also got a $50 donation from H-Bomb. Loving the music and the visuals. Thank you so much. I'm out of the way of the camera. Oh, my God. Sorry, man. I got a donk. What can I say? Oh, come on, baby. Give it to me. Oh, I, with my... Oh, this camera. Oh, we got like a new sideline cam. How do I look? Unreleased song with my super janky handwriting. Ebo hates my handwriting, so I'm so happy it landed on. I got to put in this nice camera right here for its debut. Give it to us. Vault us, ladies and gentlemen. All right, right on. Let's just do a little happy tuning note before we start. This is that? coconut water. Yeah, we're just going to do one now and then we'll do the coconut. Good. All right.
Yes. First time. Literally for the first time. Uh, what? How, how'd you guys land on that one? Tell me the story about about that single. Uh, I mean, you didn't you didn't release that album not too long ago. I mean, it was not too long ago. So how'd you guys land on this one to release it this time? Is it the moon? Because that that thing was looking quite full tonight. So. I think it was. Well, we're we're working with a label now, and, and you know we got some advance money, and we just rented a house in the tropical mountains of Colombia, and then we just brought like a little recording gear over there in the house, and we stayed there for a month in the midst of coconut and mango trees all over. And it was just a really nice hermit-like vibe, and that's kind of like the vibe. Like it's been a month now, and we're like, but it's like really nice. It allowed us to just be away from the world some music that's awesome man i feel like that's the vibe i kind of pick up sometimes here at the purple bee and uh that's why it's so special to not only be here as an artist but also as a spectator and uh we're happy to share this experience with you and uh thank you to h-bomb for donating that 50 dollars spot and uh yeah definitely i mean i got santiago on, on whatsapp you guys are my you guys are my plug if i'm if i'm ever coming out by you, you I'm, I'm coming to stay with you you can show me all the hot spots out that out that way i'll be i'll be happy to so what do you say? You know, we heard the new one. Play one for us, and then we'll get we'll get a plinkle dropping for H bomb. What do you say? Okay.
Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Woof. Man, it's so crazy. Like, I was at South by Southwest. I got to experience you guys live. It was such a memorable, uh, like, you know, live performance. And then being able to hear you, like, here now, you know, G mixing it up nice here at the new Purple B. It's just, it's, it's honestly, it's, it's so awesome. It's surreal. And that's why the people are loving it. And I wish I could translate. I'm going to start, I'm going to start using Google Translator here on my uh, computer to see if I could start uh, telling you what these people are commenting. But, Oh shit, they're saying the the cute, the prettiest the prettiest bass player in the world. Aw. Look at that. I love that. Well, thank you. Santiago, you know what time it is, bro. Give me that drum to, to drum roll because we got H bomb with that fifty dollar spot. Loving the music individuals. Might even be in the building tonight. Let's get it going. The Plinko. Where will it fall? Oldie, but a goodie. You know what that means. Whether it's a, a Balthus uh, original, a cover, make it happen. Okay. Oldie but goodie.
Absolutely unreal. Like, I think nailed that would be an understatement. That was sweet. And it's crazy because it, it takes me back to this time where uh, I was trying to think of the name of that song. And then you try to type in I Will Always Love You into Google and type in lyrics, and you're going to get Whitney Houston. You're going to get about every other song besides that one. So then you have to start, like, doing some, like, deep searching, like like uh, uh, the guy who, like, goes, ah, that, that, that one I Love You song. And it's like you're getting deep into the Internet trying to find it. So... Thank you so much for playing that one, bringing it back into the memory. Yeah, Everyone is digging it in the <laughs> chat, too. Uh, I know it's Chris Isaac, Wicked Games, yeah, right? Yeah, that's Chris Isaac, Wicked uh, Thank God, my memory, my memory uh, wins again. Hell yeah. And uh, in the midst of that, too, amazing cover, we got GNM, tip $50, Chicago loves Balthus. Yep, we Chi-town. love you, too. Shout out Chi-Town. Go White Sox. Go Blackhawks. And uh, you know what? We're happy to bring you um, amazing band from across the, damn, I don't what would it be, across the pond? Yeah? You guys are across the pond? Where, yeah. where, where are you guys located on a map? We're in America. In America. Shout out, shout out to America, the North, the South, Canadians, you know, all of them. We love you all. You've come make amazing music. We have the perfect setting for it. So what do you say? You want you want to play us a song or you want to drop another Plinko real quick? No, no, those Plinkos, man. Those Plinkos. <laughs> no, let's just get groovy, you know? Let's yeah. Just, all right, let's go for it.
it's none none other great combination than than bands like you guys who just you, you just you come here and you use this space to just absolutely rock out. You're up to the challenge of the plinko. We know that we're getting those reps in, but that's just because the people love the music so much. And you know, a lot of great comments on the looks too. Uh, Giorgio uh, Jose Lizcano Rojas said, "What a handsome drummer." Oh yeah, you know. that's my brother, man. <laughs> We, Whole family. we love it. It's a family affair here at Purple yeah, B. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, incredible. I, it, it's like uh, as far as um, as like jamming and stuff. I bet you're you guys ever just have like these crazy improv sessions where you just you're like, you know what, this is gonna this is how we're gonna write our next hit is is we're just gonna go for it. That's how we started the fourth album. It was pretty much just jamming. This this was the only time like we could actually get together it's before we all had like so much stuff going on. So this. This next album is coming out tomorrow. Well, one song, and then yeah, we'll the progressively, you know. Yeah, yeah we, we love jam, jamming. Actually, it's the it's part, uh, important part of, of psychedelic uh, type music. Yeah, we love Why'd you go to jam? Yeah, that's, that's why I kept side of jam. On the uh, on the plinko, so nice. We we, we might want to hit it twice, you know. So and also, you know, there's a lot of people talking about you know the songs that they're hearing that you guys are playing, and, and they love them so much. Where can people find your music at? Uh, where can we stream uh, more Balthus? Just click, do the Balthus thing, you know. Just Google Balthus, B A L T H V. That's the trick right there. B S. There you. That's it. Yeah, it's everywhere. Get, but they, but you know, it's Spotify. Do it on Spotify. I think Spotify actually. It gets a bad rap, but by streaming the music, you don't know how m all of, like, one of the reasons why we're here, why we're able to come to America, to, to a country like this, because people are streaming on Spotify, and that gets the eyes and ears of more people and so forth. So if you stream on Spotify, you're always helping. If you buy a little something on Bandcamp, that too. So, you know, those two things. Yeah, thank you so much, and that's great. That's great information. So make sure you guys are streaming these guys on Spotify because we want to see them. There was somebody in the chat earlier who said, "Can't wait to see you in Colorado." So that's just amazing that you guys are able to come here and tour. Thankful to streams like this and streamers like you on Spotify and other streaming platforms. Now, GNM, I can't do my boys dirty from Chicago. I got, I gotta drop the plinko for them. Are you ready for this one? Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> He's 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 well he's well hi, uh, hydrated he's well uh, carved up he's good to go here that show me pizza it's gonna get him through the second set Santiago what do you say? All right, let's do it. G and M, thank you for your fifty dollar donation. Ooh, hell yeah! More of my bad handwriting. Crowd favorite. This is one where you know it's kind of the band's choice. What is a a, a common song that you play that every single crowd seems to have that similar reaction of? Oh yeah, it's a banger. Okay, um, I need the audience for this one. I want to count to three. Can you all yell, cumbia, real loud? The, the bells. You need them? You need them? Oh, my God. <laughs> A drummer, okay, okay. Oh, my God. This is, you know. Okay, now we're going to change the plans, change the plans, because drummer doesn't have the cowbell, and you need more cowbell. You know how it is? If anyone wants, we'll do it. We'll do it if anyone has a cowbell. So, so you know, got to look for that cowbell. And, you know, otherwise we're going to give you another crowd pleaser right there, you know? Hold on. We're, we're checking Grego's uh, storage closet here. He's like... Well, no, it's in the garage. <laughs> he said it's in the garage. Man, in the green room, I have my bag. It's purple. Like purple. Purple? Yeah. Hold on, I got you. And then I got my yeah, I mean, we could do that one do we have a Do we have a green room cam? Right, I mean, but what, what he gets it, I mean, we can do another one. It's you fine. Said, you know? you yeah. said it's a purple bag? Uh, well, you just said crowd pleaser, so that's what I thought. You know? At least he works in Colombia. We're going to try and make this one a crowd pleaser. You know? That's the one. Call ashes. For that one girl that asked for it yesterday in Austin, it's like, no, we're gonna do it today. So hopefully she's online watching the stream.
From uh, from the both control rooms, how are we feeling in the audience? How are we feeling right now? Yeah, that was the answer I expected, man. I, honestly, I'm I'm curious, man. What what came first? Was it the instrument or the vocals? I mean, wh where did you start first? Oh, always the instruments. We're very instrument people, and just right now we're kind of like trying vocals and giving it a shot. I'll tell you what, I mean, be between and, uh, you and Johanna, that's, that's honestly, you guys make up a great duo. How do you, how do you decide kind of, because uh, you guys have such a good way of creating space and you, you keep this like equal amount of synergy between the three of you throughout. Like, how do you kind of decide where to put those vocals in? Like, when, when do you decide the jam is just too, is just too tasty, you need to let it, let it ride? Yeah, well. I think I think, I think you decide. Ladies yeah, decide. always decide at the end, you know? So I think it's Joa. We just propose. You know? yeah. And I just go a little jamming after the instrumental. Uh, yeah, and um, the vocals appears. Yeah, definitely. I totally feel that. Sometimes it's it's not even words at first. It's just like the sound of, of how words would sound, and then you just got to fill it in afterwards. You know, sometimes you're just like, nah, 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 nah. you know, giving a little jingle in your head. But amazing stuff. That was quite the ride, that that, that one. And um, I'm, I'm really curious to see what you have left for us, because I, I just want to hear more. You know, I'm reading up more about just like, I'm, Look at you! Get you even got the uh, English pronunciation of uh, Balthus on your on your uh, website. That's super professional, man. I should I should. <laughs> we always struggle. How did how do they pronounce that band name? You know, so it's Balthus. I've gotten way better yeah. over over time. You know, it, it's it's it takes a lot out of me to say it. You know, but I've been I've been brave and I've been saying it a lot. No, you, you said it really. It's right. It, it was really about a French painter called Balthus. That's, that's the reason, the band name. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. All right, we're gonna go with, I think we're gonna go with one more. We're gonna go with a band, you know? Yeah. yeah. All right.
Come on, Purple B, this one's for you. Absolutely incredible. What a jam. One more time for both of us. But, you know, actually, you know, I forgot to mention something real quick. I know you guys said that was your last song, but we did have a buzzer beater $50 donation from Nature Lover and Abstract. I'll tell you what, I'll, put, I'll, I'll offer a proposal for you. If we don't use the Polish Plinko, will you, will you give us one more song? Better yet, before I ask you, let me ask Purple B. Purple B. Do you guys want both of us to play one more song? Yeah! What do you guys say? It's going to be hard to top that one, you know? But <laughs> Hey, man, keep it rolling. Whatever you're playing, I'm loving it. You ready? Speaking. Why don't we 
give it a try. Yeah, one more time, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for both of us. Purple Bee Live. Guys, thank you so much. 105. Yes, we were honored on behalf of Purple Bee, uh, Balthazar, Johanna, Santiago. Thank you for helping me get over my fear of saying names. And thank you so much for including us on your third vibration tour. Make sure that you go see them, whether you're going to be in Dallas, Houston, Texas, San Antonio, Lubbock, Boulder, Denver. Fort Collins, and then Miami, Florida, yeah. yeah, yeah. Shout out Rick Ross. Yeah. And make sure you check out their new single, uh, signal coming out on Spotify tomorrow, which is gonna be called Like Coconut Milk. Is that correct? Coconut Water. Coconut Water, oh, I was so close, I was so close. <laughs> I didn't have that one written down, so I was close enough, but Like Coconut Water. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. <laughs> I'm not even a big co uh, coconut uh, milk fan, you know? I'm, I'm more into the coconut water. So make sure you check that out. Check out their re uh, recently released album as well. And if you can get the pleasure to uh, see these guys on tour, do so. And uh, whew, gee, man, how was that? How was that sounding through your uh, your, your your headphones, brother? No, it's so sweet, beautiful sound. Thank you all for coming. Uh, it's been you know two years since we planted the seed, and here we are. Uh, success. I love it. I love it. Everything. Come back anytime. Yeah, seriously. I mean, it, it was crazy being able to hear them in a Granny's Tacos parking lot, and now <laughs> yes. we're, we're listening to them in the new studio, South by Southwest, to Purple Bee Live 105. I mean, it's it's crazy. I Bam. mean, could you even imagine what Purple Bee Live we were on at that at that time in that time in uh, space? What's up? What's up? What's up? Do you, yeah. Thanks, guys, for everyone that donated. It means so much. And That's right. see you next time. We'll be in Dallas tomorrow in case you all are over there. Yeah, man. If you're over in South Oklahoma tomorrow, go check these guys out. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just love to mess with our Dallas people. Ah, uh, man, nice. north or west of 35, we love you. Make sure you're always tuning in to Purple Be Alive. It's crazy, man. I can't believe that we've come this far. I can't believe that we're just stretching across the globe abstract keeping it real with the viz keeping it real with them mid set in a mission dj set live you you were hearing him yeah that's right he was giving us samples of the stuff we were listening to the first set come on man he's the realest in the game dog get with it x trap a s e r oh man and you know this thank you once again every single person who donated yes. that was awesome it helps a lot. yeah it's always great to make these bands uh to go through the plinko challenge so um also we have to thank some people that make this possible uh besides our donators and our amazing people um we got to thank you know guayaki or Ramate, keeping us geeked up at the stew you know we got to work them late hours we're climbing ladders we're doing things, you know, on the computer. I got an iPad in front of me for the first time. Shit's crazy. Real Ale Brewing. And then when you want to, uh, you know, cool it off with a nice brew, they do spirits too. Oh, yeah, I thought you knew. Oh, yeah. Show me pizza. They gave us the pre-meats and a little bit of vegan too. Man, the, that, that pizza's fire. They're always knowing how to cook it up. Thank you so much for keeping our artists and all of our people fed. And uh, be sure to check out our sponsor. We got their link down in the chat on Twitch right now. Go hit them up if you're in Austin. And the Purple Barn. Man, if you're out in Wimberley, 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 Texas, go check out the Purple Barn, the Sister Studio, Backyard Concerts. Tomorrow night, what do we got going on, Elbows? 
come on, get on over here. I, I, you, you're my favorite. You're my favorite interview. Three shows left, and this one is uh, a guy named Tony Calum. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You look like the guy from Home Improvement, where you can only see the top of his head. Tony Campbell and Kim Warner. Kim Warner. Kim Warner was. Uh, Tony Campbell's a Grammy nominee. Tony Calum, uh, Grammy-winning uh, uh, string player for uh, you know, Wind and Wire. Wood and Wire, yeah. Anyway, it'll be one of the biggest shows of our year. Come on out to Wembley and have a great time with us. Hell yeah, man. The Purple Barn. We love them. And we also love Abstract and Time to Fly, Michael Curvin, swerving in the Suburban. Yeah, that's right. You know how we do. I know you people are swerving out there. Stay safe in the rain. Shout out Abstract. Check out his SoundCloud. Check out where he's at. He's always, he's big. He's in it. Oh, man. Woo. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I believe we've reached that time where the kisses get blown. Those kisses, blow. Those kisses. 